This tiny cell uh, sheet may change the future medicine. This is iPS cell-derived retinal pigment epithelial cells that will be used for the first clinical application of iPS cells. I'm an ophthalmologist based in the, uh, this beautiful port city of Kobe. Kobe ha has recovered from the big, big earthquake with science, and it is now one of the epicenter of science and medicine. Here, I'm doing clinical work and also developing a new treatment for the retinal diseases in Riken. The first clinical application goes like this. We will make iPS cells from patient skin cells, and the iPS cells can um, become any type of cells in the body. So I will make, we will make the retinal pigment epithelial cells a part of retina. And make the cell sheet and transplant them back into the patient's eyes. The wonderful thing about the iPS cell is that we can make, even from the old patient's uh, skin, we can make their young, young cells from iPS cells. So this is truly the regenerative medicine. We will use this for the retinal disease called age-related macular degeneration. And last summer, we declared that we start the uh, clinical applica application of the iPS cells. Since then, we received many, many letters and emails from all over the world from the patient suffering from eye disease. And now they have hopes. And in the scientific conference, we are very happy, including Dr. Yamanaka, who is invented iPS cells. Yay, we did it, or we are doing very well. But when I see the patient in clinic, I'm always beaten. Because I know at the beginning, the regenerative medicine will not satisfy the patient's need of dramatical cure of the disease. The problems are the effect and the cost. Back in 2007, I received the button from Dr. Yamanaka, and I'm very honored to become the first one to step into the regenerative medicine of iPS cells. But on the other hand, I know very well that, uh, like the first plane that only flew 300 meters, at the beginning, the regenerative medicine, the effect is very little. I know it will be a wonderful treatment and will cure many, many e e patients. But until then, what, sh what should we do? And I think I know the answer. So, uh, I usually talk about my research with serious face like this, because this is not the laughing matter. So people think, I'm a very strong and scary woman, but that, that is not true. And I'm very cheerful and tame, I think. <laughs> and I only see the patient with uh, degenerative, retinal degenerative disease that have no treatment at all. But in my clinic, my clinic is always filled with laughter. And I don't like the word pity or kawaiso in Japanese. I know many people um, that n who is not kawaiso at all, even with visual impairment. They can read and write and do many things with the recent advanced technologies. So I give some advices for the patient in my clinic. And in the session, uh, they gradually smile and sometimes they shed tears. Not from the sorrow, but not from the uh, not from the sorrow, but from the relief. They learn that the disease is not as not as not as bad as they think. And uh, from this experience, uh, I'm convinced that the patient with visual impairment will be happy happier if people think they are not ka kawaiso. So I like to change the image of visual impairment through the regenerative medicine. 
so, um, I know the answer. What, what should we do? I know the answer, I think. Uh, the regenerative medicine will improve the visual function a little bit. Sorry. A little bit. But the low vision care uh, kind of rehabilitation make it useful. So these are the set for the regenerative medicine. And as for the cost, um, we need a completely new medical system. The system in Japan now is governed by rules, 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 and doctors. So we should change it and change the way of thinking about the medical system uh, oriented to the patient satisfaction and the relief. So I'm planning a new eye center in Kobe that will have a high-level hospital with rehabilitation and the social experiment part. And also the research center with high-level science that will produce the innovation in the industry. Actually, we have made a made a startup company and it is quite successful now. So the innovation will make the new application or new treatment and the cost down. And that will make money to enrich the research and clinical uh, environment. So in this um, concept, the eye center should run by themselves, I think. So uh, the uh, hospital should be fun and cheerful and fashionable. Maybe I will make a Louis Vuitton hostel. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> and under the concept of this, uh, many talented people start starting gathering. Here. Yeah. Those young people think quite different things about medicine. And in this eye center, I like to put many new and good things, every new good things. And to the hospital, I will gather uh, possible treatment on the earth for the retinal disease. And uh, we will do the new law of June care. And also in the research center, we have new, uh, many, many world first thing and to make the industry. But the most important thing here is all these things should be oriented to the patient's satisfaction and relief. So this is my dream center. Thank you very much. <laughs>